Hello everybody, welcome back to Be With Ty. And as you can see, I have another kids style video with my lovely model Tootie. So we just have some braids going into two ponytails with the heart in the back using crochet hair. All right, let's get started. Okay, here I'm gonna show you guys really quick how I wash her hair. I did get a lot of questions on it last time. <laughs> Tootie is so relaxed. So um, I just wash it with regular shampoo and conditioner. Here I'm using the Coconut Curls shampoo and then i just you know wash her hair regular just get it all through her hair the shampoo i do like to use like more so the balls of my fingertips and not the fingernails and then just rinse that out and then i move on to the conditioner and i'm using the tresemme conditioner and just getting that all over her hair and just finger comb it through to get all the knots and kinks and she just want to say hello to you guys and just rinse that all out she just has so much energy just always cheesing and just gonna towel dry her hair play a little game you know because a lot of kids does not like to get their hair washed so we try to make it as fun as possible a good experience so here ready to blow dry it which she does not like but we're going to go ahead and detangle our hair and I like to use this smooth finish thermal protection which is like a heat protectant since I am going to blow dry her hair and I just blow dry it using a comb blow dryer and this is the Silverbird. I purchased it from Sally's it was like forty dollars then I'm going to part her hair ear to ear and then that's when I start to get my heart shape and start off getting the round part of the heart exactly how I like it. And then I do the top, like I basically make a V and then just perfect it. So I just keep parting until I get exactly how I would like it. Then section that part off. Put a rubber band on okay that looks like a clip and then this is some handmade hair butter that I made I'll leave that link down below and every time I part her hair I just put it in between so we can make sure it's moisturized and I'm using this design essentials edge control I think it's honey and shea edge control and I just use that um, to make sure her parts are really straight and here I'm just parting it off. Since we're making two ponytails, I'm just going to basically braid her hair different kind of ways until two ponytails, as you can see, and we'll see later on in the video. So I start off around the heart, and here I'm using some edge control to keep it over and her parts nice and neat. I'm all about the neat parts. I mean, you can do your child's hair, however, you know. But then I'm putting more edge control on the two sides. I don't put it on the section that I'm braiding. I do put it on the sides to make sure that the hair stays over nice and neat. And then I'm just braiding it up. So I put about two or three braids on each side. Oops, sorry about that. Put about two or three braids on each side. So we can make sure that our heart is showing and I just like to put it in like a small little ball in the back um, if you like you can put crochet hair in the back but I like to keep the heart showing so here I finished braiding the hair up and I'm just taking some of that design essentials edge control and putting that all around the heart and just brushing it up so we can have a nice sleek and neat and put a rubber band on it. I like to use two and then just twist it and create like a little ball. And it's really cute if you leave it like this, but I did take it a step farther at the end of the video and put a um, ribbon on the back. But it's really cute just like that. So if you want, again, you could put hair back there, but I didn't. So here I'm working on the top and just you know finish braiding it to two sections so that we can have two ponytails in the front and here instead of just putting it into a ponytail I'm actually braiding it down 
so that when we crochet the hair, we can actually have it more like more bushier, if I'm trying to say. I don't know. It was just easier to do it, braiding it down instead of like one big knot. And this is the hair that I'm using. <laughs> and Tootie is so curious about it. So, um, just using the faux lock hair. And this is by the Janet Collection. And it is 14 inches long. Don't worry about that because we will be cutting it. And this is, it cost me $5.98 at my local beauty supply. So then I just take my crochet needle, loop it on the hair, pull it through, and then I keep it through and put the end on it. Or you can just open it up and pull the hair through. So there you can see, and then I just pull it and tighten it. So as you can see, I'm putting some hair before the little knots. That's so... It can be like pretty thick and full and I only used about six or seven on each side so you don't need a lot because when you pull it apart it is going to make it fuller so I'm just pulling it through and I keep doing that until I have about seven on each side I think it, I used seven on each side so I'm doing the other side the same way crocheting it through and here as you can see I just looped it through so you can do it like that as well so here that's what it's going to look like before we pull them apart she has two ponytails I'm going to go ahead and get the baby here and Tootie needs a nap <laughs> um this told the hairstyle the hairstyle took about two hours start to finish from washing it and doing the braids see we got that baby hair on fleek so now I'm just pulling apart the faux lock hair to get that curly look and I'm just going to cut them different lengths so it'll be like not all just the same size like a like dog ears I don't know but you get what I'm saying so I just pull them apart so it just look like we just Gave her a little Shirley Temples. And you don't want it too frizzy. So that's why I went back and kind of told it around my finger. So like that. So it won't be too frizzy. I did figure out the more smaller sections, the frizzier to look. So I did make my sections a little bigger. And here I'm just adding some ponytail holders. So really cute. And then that's the back. So again, like I said, I did go and add a ribbon onto the bag, just make it more of a cute style. Um, again, the ribbon is optional. You can leave the ribbon out. You can add color ribbon. Um, I like it both ways. And that's the finished look. Isn't it so pretty? All right, and you can do this as many styles and ways that you would like. Just braid it different ways. And then add that crochet hair. All right. <laughs> Here's Tootie being crazy as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.